Hey, what's up? It's me again. Guess where I am? America. Here at the infamous Mount Rushmore, the four faces of. We've got Washington in the far, far left, and we have Thomas Jefferson inside that, and then we have Roosevelt inside of that, and we have Abraham Lincoln at the end. So that's my only history I really know about this place. Um, it's very touristy. There's lots of flags, different states and stuff. If you want to know what each of the flags of the states look like, it's pretty uh, interesting, I guess, if you're into that kind of thing. But, uh, but yeah, so as you can clearly see, I'm at the end of my Australian journey here in not Australia. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've learned a lot. Um, it's something that I uh, can't really put all into one video, but there are some basic points that I want to uh, bring up, basic things that I've learned. I also want to bring up the overall thematic point of reflections. It's important to reflect on things that you are doing, important to when you go through something huge, like for example for me, six month trip to Australia was like a huge thing. Obviously there's lots of little lessons that I learned, but of course there's always big ones. And um, yeah, so I, there's three major big ones that I, that I learned. Um, and so yeah, so the, one of them is definitely you are Wherever you go, there you are. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, you will always be there, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, you might think, oh, if I like travel or if I do this to get away from my problems, if, it, if, if you think being geographically in a separate place, if you think that's going to get you away from your problems, well, you're wrong, first of all. Uh, you get there, you think, oh, look, everything's new, and you're, you're taking all that stimuli, but eventually it catches up to you, and um, you're still that same person, even though you may have achieved certain things or overcome certain fears, there are still might be those same kind of fears, same kind of patterns, same kind of behavioral ways of thinking that you fall back on. And that's what I mean when you have to deal with uh, the self again and again and again. So that's basically wherever you go, there you are. You can't just escape that with geography. Like, I mean, I kind of thought I would. I thought I'd be different. I thought I'd be, um, not that I'm not different, but just I thought I would... Oh, well, I won't have any fears now that I've traveled. No, you still have fears. The other night there was a thunderstorm. I stupidly somehow, don't know how, in my weird dream, terrified state, I thought to myself, oh, what? zombies. I somehow convinced myself that zombies like, were going to come out of the lake that we were camping near and just like consume us all. I, I don't know. It was stupid. But um, it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting dream. But anyway, yeah, so fears are still the same. Uh, or p patterns, you know, yeah, I still have this thing where I think the worst possible thing under certain circumstances, and that's still something that I'm getting over. But now I'm able to realize it because I have that outside perspective I didn't have before. Uh, I can also look at America in a totally different way. I can see it from outside of America, and it's just, it's, it's a completely different um, mode of, of thinking. But yeah, so that's wherever you go, there you, there you are. The other one is people are people no matter where you go. Also, completely not geographically based. Basically, this is just me coming to the understanding that uh, no matter where you go, there will be people of different cultures, different races, different uh, ideologies, religions, etc. And obviously that's a given, but it means so much more when you go out there and you travel and you see different places. I mean, I went to Australia, but you'd be, I mean, if you didn't know anything about Australia, you'd be surprised, I was, at how worldly the place is. It's absolutely incredible, the amount of culture and uh, different people that live there and that uh, make their own way. Um, it's very impressive, very worldly, very international country, and it kind of it kind of blew me away in the beginning. Um, and, I, and, you know, uh, when you're stuck in one place, like in America, like I didn't really travel a lot in America, so I don't get a lot of um, uh, outside perspective, per se. But obviously being able to do that, I get to do that, which helps uh, when it comes to, what, what hurts you when it comes to stereotyping, which is something I, I found that I used to do a lot and I still kind of do, but now I realize how erroneous that can be and how silly that is. And um, yeah, so traveling really helps me with that. But people are people wherever you go, basically is like, you might think that one kind of person, one type of person, one type of culture, religion, etc., race might be mean, oh, those people are mean for some stupid reason that happened to you when you were like five, I don't know. Um, but that's completely erroneous and traveling will definitely help destroy those uh, falsified beliefs. They're completely BS and uh, there's no reason. Oh, it's raining. Oh. Great. Well, it'll help completely falsify those beliefs. 
or show you that those beliefs are complete complete BS. And you don't need to follow them. You don't have to worry about them uh, because for whatever reason, there's something you believe, it just doesn't matter. That's, traveling helps you realize that everyone is their own people and everyone has the responsibility and capacity to change to be whoever they want. And you'll find in every race, every culture, every n demographic niche, you'll find that people, there's a spectrum of people that are good, people that are bad, people that are pretty okay. Some might have a higher concentration of like good people in this area, some people might have less, it's whatever. The point is, it, um, it doesn't matter and uh, people will be people, and there will always be nice people of every race, even if you have something against a certain... That's oh, totally raining right now. Okay. Well, this is my tears of not being in Australia. But uh, last one is, no matter where you go, no matter what environment you're in, you are always there. The moment is fleeting. The environments are changing. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> it's raining pretty bad right now. But uh, the environments are changing, uh, and you're the only one there. There's no reason for you to squander away opportunity. Uh, always go out there and get it because I've gone through so many different environments already and I like to think that I got all the opportunities I possibly could, but I can't uh, because there's just so many more. Um, it's really raining right now. But yeah, so with that said, I want to leave you guys with go out there, travel, get off your ass and travel. Please do it for yourself. Do it for everyone else. Do it for your posterity. Do it for your own knowledge. Do it for the advancement of human consciousness, whatever. Make it as big of a deal or as small of a deal as you want, but do it anyway. Uh, it's extremely important, and I hope uh, you guys do that and enjoy it, of course. And, of course, reflect on the things that you've learned, because if you don't reflect, it might not go in your head. And if it doesn't go in your head, did you really learn anything? Oh, there it goes. Now it's stopping. Okay. Wow. Changing environment. Oh. But yeah, expose yourself to those different possibilities. Expose yourself to the different environments, different things that you can't control, different uh, variables, and, uh, and just be out there and enjoy and experience. Because we only get one of these, right? You're a transient member of this world, and you have to kind of deal with that. You know, we're only going to be here for how long? That's basically the point I'm trying to make. So, with that said, coming to you from South Dakota, Mount Rushmore, thank you for watching. This is the end of my Australia video blogs, and uh, I might do more of these. I don't know. I'll have to decide later. But with that said, have a good one. Hey, what's up? It's me. I'm back in the States again. Guess where? The Washington. Nope. I'm done. Yeah,